Jackal 2. We're getting into this palace fast and getting out faster. Once you do the necessary, we're wiping it off the map. Roger that, Jackal 1. We're not sticking around for tea. <laughs> Probably dreadful anyway. We're looking for a bunker. Our best guess is that we can access it on the far side of the grounds. We'll see you through. After that, it's up to Talon 1 to lift us all out in one piece. That's my preference. So let's get to it then. We're nearly there. Set! Talon's game's just ahead. Look alive, people. They know we're coming. going down. We'll hold the area. Be quick about it.
taking cover. Check that shit out. Martinez. This better be it. Really make you work for it, don't they? Dom's hoarding millions down here. Hell, this gold toilet's worth that much. We trade it all for a WMT. We're close. case there. Check it out. What do we got? The cradle. Panthean has a goddamn biological weapon. And they put this in Saddam's hands, too? A sample of it, based on what I'm seeing in here. What'd you find? A disc. Some notes, all in Russian. Project's headed by Matvi Gusev. Sounds like you know him. I recognize the name. Gusev was a scientist in the Soviet Union's biological weapons program, Biopreparat. Intelligence had him fleeing Russia last year. Then he vanished. Gusev gave the Pantheon a Soviet bioweapon? No. According to this, the cradle came from somewhere else. A research facility I'm familiar with. It's American. America. All right, visiting time's over, you three. We need your help up here. Head to top side. Let's move. Get what you wanted? Not exactly, but we got what we needed.
has a biological weapon. The papers we found in that bunker, they had a name attached. Matt V. Goose, a Soviet weapons scientist. We think he's still in Iraq, somewhere. Adler's volunteered to stay behind and track his ass down. I'll have Felix examine the disc we found while the rest of us investigate the origin of the cradle. If Adler's right, this thing may have come from a research facility on U.S. soil. A Soviet scientist and an American bioweapon. What the hell are we getting into? You've asked Tara about this supposed research facility. She's not picking up. Told her to look into Livingston. You think something's happened to her? To ask, it's my fault. The weight of the world on your shoulders. We know the risks. Yeah, well, this isn't exactly what I imagined. Because it's not just about you. How'd you feel about coming with me and Kay Stasi? I'd consider it. Felix still in the kitchen. Don't complain. We ate well while you were off wandering the desert. He should be decrypting the disc I have found. We need whatever's on it. Hey, Chef, you cracked that disc yet? <sighs> Patience, please. Cryptography is like preparing pufferfish. Rush through it and risk losing everything. Okay. Is he planning to serve us pufferfish? Case, need something before we go? What? Over the acting? Please. Not worth the energy. Contrary to Marshall's manly sensibilities, I could have helped. But you made it back alive, so. Oh, that's not fair. I need to generate revenue, Case. Taking down Avalon's crime factions isn't cheap. Don't get me wrong. You have a noble pursuit. But it isn't my fight. I'm not American. Don't have a misguided sense of patriotism like Marshall over there. Adler's only interested in whatever connections Avalon has to the Pantheon, if any. 
He could care less about my own mission, or anyone else's for that matter. Don't expect any bleeding heart behavior from him. A very long ten miles down the mountain, to the nearest town. Rustic, you might call it. Place was depressing. But I hate having nothing to do, and I wasn't keen on being cooped up here with woods. Stay strong. I'm afraid I'll need a little more time. Unless you've come to help. Yet to be determined. I found these cookbooks in storage, but I'm afraid my Cyrillic skills are not as sharp as they once were. And I am working with ingredients that I could hunt and forage from the surrounding area. So, let's call it a stew, shall we? Uh -huh. I see. Because I no longer desire to take a human life. You believe my heart bleeds for all creatures. It's an understandable assumption. However, these are very different circumstances. To hunt... Mm, is to be in symbiosis with nature. To take a life without due cause is parasitical. Society is a predatory structure. Those with power, whether legitimate or otherwise, prey on those without and use thugs, uniformed as I once was, or otherwise, to enforce their rule. The Stasi, CIA, organized crime in Avalon, most assuredly Pantheon, all are institutions of oppression. I bloodied my hands, burdened my soul with complicity, and now I live in shame. Never again. I cannot say. I think that makes us a necessary evil. Perhaps. This is why I prefer computer systems, ones and zeros. <laughs> However, binary thinking is not conducive to modern existence. Social systems are complex webs. I think we can only navigate the gray and hope that history views us favorably. Whatever it contains is locked behind some rather impressive encryption. I was able to write a program to decrypt it. But the truth is, I am stumbling in the dark at best. Not so much picking the lock as drilling through the tumblers. Hmm. Considering where you found it, the logical assumption is that it holds data pertaining to a weaponized biological agent. Hmm. Or pornography. Feel free to come by the kitchen later. Might need a test subject. 